Welcome, Welcome all you empty 12 lovers, come on in. We have large buttons and we have small buttons, flat buttons and pointed buttons. We have a steering wheel and a throttle trigger. We have a joystick and we have pods. We have a display and now we have animated RGB lights. Ladies and gents and all you MT12 lovers out there, a new era is upon us. HTX version 2.10 will be released in the not too distant future and this will be the first version of HTX that fully supports the Radio Master MT12. Here on this MT12 a pre-release of the firmware is installed, namely the version 2.10.0-RC3, which means this is release candidate 3 of the firmware. If you saw my video about Lua scripting, then you may have wondered why there was an enable-disable option in the special functions. Well, that for example is a feature that will be introduced with version 2.10. Unfortunately, there is currently no version of the HTX companion software available that supports the Radio Master MT12, but I'm sure this will be released very soon after the firmware. And now let's see what we can expect for, from the version 2.10. And please keep in mind that I will only cover topics that affect the Radio Master MT12. I won't cover topics that are exclusively for radios with a color screen, for example the Radio Master TX16S. And please don't forget if you like the video or if you find it helpful, then please hit the like and the subscribe buttons to support the channel and if you feel extra cool, then by all means please go ahead and buy me a coffee. My eternal gratitude is yours. And now, let's go! Here we are at the MT12 with the only real Model 3 selected. Let us start in the system menu and here in the radio setup here we have our first new option. The startup sound option, where it is, here it is, the startup sound option. Let me bring it a bit upwards here, the startup sound option. Now you have this enable disable checkbox here. With this you can enable or disable, disable the startup sound so you don't have to delete the hello wave file if you don't want a startup sound. The second change here in the radio setup is a new option for the rotary encoder. You have now this option VNEI which means vertical normal edit inverted. So if you are in a menu like now if you bring the encoder down then you do bring the, the cursor down. If you roll the encoder up then you bring the cursor up. But if you are in edit mode and you, for example, you edit the numerical value. If you roll the encoder upwards, then you increase the value. And if you roll the encoder downwards, then you decrease the encoder. This is, well, for me, this is the standard behavior. I set it up this way and I won't change it. Now let's go to, oops, let's go to the global functions. Now we have here this enable disable option, so you can enable or disable global functions. Um, this means you don't have to delete a function if you don't want to use it, just disable it. And that's it here in the system menu. Now let's go to, oh no, we have uh, another change here on the hardware page. Yeah, right, here in the hardware page. Um, we have no, uh, new options for the pots. The the old um, options are we are none, pot, pot with detent, and now we have slider, multipose, axis X, axis Y, switch. And in addition to that, you can invert them. Very cool. So you can now set up your multi uh, your pot as a multi-position switch. Very, very cool. Now let's go to the model menu and here to the drive modes. This is a really cool new feature. You can now decouple the trim switches from the trims. So if we set the switches to 3P, if I go back to the home screen then you see I have only two trims left here. Those are trim 1 and trim 2 for throttle and steering. But the T3, T4 and T5 here on the side are no longer coupled with trims. So you can use them as normal um, three position momentary switches. Very, very cool. Then back to the model menu and here to the mixes page. Here you can now set the higher resolution for the slow up and slow down values. Um, now you can, um, you can set 10 milliseconds. 
you have now increments of 10 milliseconds. Up to now you had only 100 milliseconds steps. That's it here on the mixes page and now to the special functions. Special functions, again we have this enable disable option here, so you don't have to delete the function if you don't want to use it. And of course the, the only feature why you should upgrade to 2.10 is of course animated RGB LEDs. Huh? Ain't that cool? It's a bit slow here this, this effect. But I will oops, I will select another one. Let's use runner. Then maybe you can see it a bit better here. And of course there are multiple new effects here. Rainbow, police, P forward, P backward, flow. What is flow? Let us check it out. Ah, okay. I find it uh, simply very, very cool. And that's it. Those are the changes, the biggest changes on version 2.10 of the XTX uh, firmware. And of course, I think you should upgrade my, I mean, why shouldn't you? It is free after all and it brings many more benefits. So, well, I, of course, have already updated, but as soon as the final release version is released, is um, available, then of course I will put the final release version here on this radio. And that's it for today. Thanks for watching. St thanks for staying with me until the end. Hope you liked the video. If so, please hit the like and the subscribe buttons. And then we will meet here again very soon or, well, sometimes in the future. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Servus.